Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas on Twitter. Joined by Marco D'Angelo at Marco in Vegas. Make sure you guys are giving him a nice follow. And no, we didn't plan that. <laughs> um, sports betting tips. Gonna gonna go back to some some things that people need to be looking for. All right, Marco. We're gonna talk about handicapping player injuries. So. We know that certain players are worth more than others. We know that certain key players mean a lot more than others. Talk to me. Um, there's different kinds of injuries, and then there's injuries to superstars. Well, let's start. I mean, obviously, when you have an injury to, like, an Aaron Rodgers or a Tom Brady, right. those guys, the number's going to move off the chart because of them. Right, and we saw it last year where Aaron Rodgers was supposed to be out against the Vikings all week. He's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. Pick him, pick him, pick him, pick him, pick him. Boom. Yeah, I forget what the line was whenever he It was defended. seven. Yeah. Uh, but there are only a handful of players that command that kind of line of adjustment. And it's part that it is value that they do have to adjust for that. And then they add a little bit more because they know where the public's going to go. And the bookmakers are always trying to get in front of the market. They don't want to get excuse the expression, get caught with their pants down. So they know that the public's not going to bet uh, the Packers without Aaron Rodgers. So, I'm not betting the Packers without Aaron so Rodgers. So <laughs> they're over going to adjust that line. Uh, we'll talk about a second part of that theory where I think the first, well, let's just go ahead and start there. The, uh, why call it the injured player theory? When you have these superstars, that very first game, I'm going to take the injured player because their team, because they're going to over-adjust the number. Absolutely. And the, and the market is going to take it that extra step because the public's just not going to bet right. the injured so, but, team. But we know, okay, let's use uh, Tom Brady with Jimmy G. When Jimmy G was in the Patriots, we'll use this as an example. Jimmy G getting tons of points with him, he did well. I think he covered two out of three games. Now let's use Aaron Rodgers. When I played without Aaron Rodgers and I got stuck with Seneca Wallace, speaking of getting <laughs> caught with your pants down, that was brutal. So it's like very this the secondary player I think has to come into play a little bit more. It does, but Kelly, for the most part, what I look at is the rest of the team that first game, they play at a higher intensity level. We talked in a previous video about teams don't play the same way every week. Right. Think about it. You know that your star's out, okay? Let's start this way. If we're doing videos this week and you're not here, I know I got to bring my A game <laughs> because Kelly's not here to do it. I got to compensate. So I got to, you know, prep harder and everything else to get the job done. Those players do the same thing. The flip side is the opposing team has a little bit of a mental letdown too. It's like, huh, we just caught a break. No Tom Brady, you know. Very true. So they're not as mentally focused. So that first game, we've got full effort from the injured team. We're getting line value with the injured team. And then we might have a little bit distracted team, have a false sense of security or overconfident coming into the game. I'll take that team in that first game. Now, it's a different story in the second game because if they do play well and do win the game without the star, well, they don't have that same intensity the next right. week. Right. Oh, we can do it without them. Yeah, we're okay. And then on the flip side, that team that might have taken them a little bit for granted because the star wasn't not there, going to. they saw, oh, oh, look at this. We can't take them for granted. So I'll play it the first week. That's where I'll take the value. But there's other types of injuries. Well, right. So in another video, we talked about – uh, the Rams. We talked about Todd Gurley's injury and what did his backups look like. And you yeah. said, hey, look, C.J. Anderson came in for Todd Gurley and ran all over the place because maybe we weren't giving enough credit to that offensive scheme, that offensive line. So let's say that uh, Odell Beckham Jr. is out or a Julio Jones, right? There's certain weights to each of those players, but there is certain positions that you think kind of get overlooked. Yeah, absolutely. The position that gets overlooked the most is any offensive line injuries. People just, you know, they don't, the average player, the sharp guys, that's the most important to me is when you've got to shuffle an offensive line. If your center's out, you've got to put somebody else in, and what ends up happening is usually they move somebody else over to the center spot, and then you're changing positions. And now you've got two or three guys playing out, out of position. I know that happened a few years ago with the Steelers um, whenever their uh, Mike Pouncey was out. You, know, you lose a star center like that, it's huge because he's the guy that's calling the blocking assignments and everything else. It's key. I look at those injuries more than anything else. The other thing that you've got to look at and be concerned is if you have cluster injuries at a certain position. If you got two guys out, 
it, the linebacker position. Now you're talking Which about Which we see depth. every year with the Houston Texans. They have at least two or three key guys out on yeah. defense. One injury you usually can cover up, but when you start to get cluster injuries, it becomes a problem. And on the flip side, coaches know that, that you're playing with two or three backups. They're going to game plan to attack those weak spots. So be uh, very conscious of looking at the injury list and look if there's clusters at a certain position. Uh, or defense, secondary, whatever. Those are things where you take more weight on the injuries. All right, awesome stuff from Marco. Wager Talk Tax Club. It's 100% free. Just text Wager Talk to 33222 to get a $10 coupon for signing up, plus free picks and other special offers.